Hey, I'm Megan, and uh, you are? Hi, I'm Ben. <laughs> We're from Los Angeles, California. We met at a Taco Tuesday, and we've been together ever since, and that was March 2013. As soon as we got married, we wanted to have kids right away. We both just have always wanted to be parents. Um, and I knew something was wrong, like kind of right away. So we went to our OB and we just started on the cycle of taking Clomid and we did three IUIs, they all failed. And it just sort of was like crushing in a way of like, man, we gotta do something about this because it's starting to really wear on us like mentally. You know, we had been quoted here in LA for um, one cycle. Uh, not including medication or the transfer, and it was about $25,000, and we were just like, that's just not where we are. And so I had kind of heard about other countries doing IVF and it being more affordable. Um, of course, I was skeptical, because that's just the American way, like, who does it better than us? <laughs> but what sold me on BFC was I found a Newsweek article that said people everywhere are, are flocking to Barbados to do infertility treatment, and I was like, Barbados. I talked to Ben and I was like, hey, like, what do you think about it getting a consultation and just kind of like seeing where this takes us? The other thing that kind of drove me towards Barbados was I found out a friend of mine told me that one of the real housewives got her, her transfer at Barbados. And it just made me feel like there was like some notoriety. Like, well, this woman has a lot of money and she could go anywhere. Why did she go there? So I started to do more research and um, just saw that the the success rates were so much higher than the U.S. And um, I just had, we talked to, I think what really motivated us was when we talked to Dr. Skinner and she had like obviously read over our files and like kind of knew the ins and outs of our situation, which I felt like I didn't receive a lot of that care from my fertility treatment here. We were on a conference call with Dr. Skinner and we got off the call and I just had so much hope. When people do IVF here, you know, you're you go get your IVF treatments and then you get in your car and you sit in traffic and then you go to work. It really was just so much more affordable. We were able to go on a vacation that, I mean, we just never could have dreamed of for at still a fraction of the cost that we would have paid here yeah. to, like you said, sit in traffic. I took the pregnancy test probably a little too early. Did we even wait the two weeks? Uh, no. Anna said, wait two weeks and I was like, mm, after like six days? Yeah, two, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> but it said pregnant. And I like videotaped him, I like recorded him on my phone, like opening the pregnancy test and finding out. Then we got Hank and he is the sweetest, like since he was born, he's the loveliest, has the sweetest demeanor, a fun sense of humor. And he's just like this little bundle of joy. He's happy, he sleeps well, he's just been this angel. Just so thankful for the journey the way it went. And Barbados was, I mean, we talk all the time about that just being our vacation destination for the rest of our lives with our babies, you know? For us, it just really all clicked.